and welcome to Hopcast. Thanks for coming back, everybody. I'm Brad Chmielewski. My name is Ken Hunnameter. Special guest. We have a special guest. This is my fucking roommate. <laughs> <laughs> How so, are you? Yeah, this is Steve Wyatt. Uh, I live with this guy, and he brought us some beers. Very nice of you to do that. Yeah, thank you. So thank you for bringing the beers now, and joining us. Oh, Indeed. Oh, so. right. You've done your part. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I guess well, they're they're big. We need help. With yeah, them, right? right. I am very willing to do that. So you uh you took a trip up to Wisconsin mm-hmm. and found a beer that yeah. none of us have heard of before. I hadn't heard of it. I was hell bent on finding New Glarus Berliner Weiss and stopped at seven liquor stores. Okay. And at one of them, a gentleman was uh, handing out samples of this beer. Uh, he is a one half of a husband and wife hop farming team in central Wisconsin, and they self-distribute in three counties. They've just started brewing, and they use the hops that they grow on their farm. So Very this cool. is the brewery is called Hop Garden in central Wisconsin, not far from New Glarus, actually. All right. So we got the local Harvest Pale Ale, and then we have their Bushel Basket IPA. These are the only two beers that they brew so far. There's a bushel of hops in every barrel. What, what is the technical, like... Quantity, of, Quantity a of, a, of a bushel. You know that? I have no idea. Okay. Lots. We'll find out. More yes. than 10. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with the pail first. Sure. Yes, indeed. Let's right. pop her open. All right. Well, I guess that poured out maybe a little darker than I was expecting for a pail. It looks a little muddy. Um, I'm assuming they're they're just more more so a hop farm and they're just getting into the brewing things. So they, they just probably started, don't have yeah. like filtration and stuff like yeah, that. These are unfiltered, kind of... yeah. Huh. So hearkening back to a past episode where we we came across a beer that kind of had some aroma of like yogurt. Right. That was we were talking about Lake Effect uh, on that episode. We were drinking Another IPA, right? Yeah. That was the Falcon IPA, I think. And this one, not as strong, but has a similar type character to it. So I, something that I never thought I'd come across again. But, <laughs> so now we're kind of maybe attributing it to the hops. I don't know. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's a hop we're not familiar with. And is it a hop from these guys or a local hop that a we don't know about? So, yeah. Mm. Oh, Cheers. All Cheers. right. feels flat, like empty. It's, uh, well, the carbonation level is a little low, but it's um, refreshing, I would say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think so. Uh, it's a little creamy. Which I don't think is a bad thing, actually. So this is a local harvest, so if we're saying it's harvest, it would have been maybe hop harvest time, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, one would assume this is from the hop harvest, which would be around, um, September. Mm. So the hops so, were harvested nine months ago. I yeah, so typically you see the, your harvest sales in the fall, mm-hmm. um, winter latest. Right. So this might be a little bit out of, uh, out of freshness okay. scope. But they could They're, just be calling it local harvest because it's their local hops. Yes, which I'm sure is. You never but, know, yeah. Mm-hmm. When you see local harvest, you kind of can't help but think it's a, an actual harvest ale, All right. um, but I'm, I'm not really sure. Because do we know if they're, are they like putting their hops in the pellets, or are they using whole hops? Or? I honestly don't know that. I, I would, would, ass- yes. I would assume, like, pelletizers are uh, pretty typically for very large scale operations, are they not? Yeah, even even big hop farms will send their their hops to get pelletized somewhere okay. else. Okay. My guess is that they probably don't pelletize this, I mean, yeah. The, Hop Garden self distributes in three counties in Wisconsin. Their so that's beer the extent. or their hops? Their beer. Okay. Yeah, they self distribute this beer in three counties in Wisconsin. So okay. oh, they yeah. are still a very small scale operation, which I'm sure means that they don't pelletize the hops before they brew. Uh, do you know when they started brewing? I don't know that either. Not for very long. Okay. Because I know that they were a hop farm. They've been a hop farmer for, or a hop farm for quite some time. And only recently have they started brewing. And okay. I'm pretty sure that what we see in front of us is there are their first two attempts mm-hmm. okay and so i want to mention too it says on the bottle that you could bring this bottle or label to the brewery for a free tour so there you go um and 
you're saying it's it's not too far from New Glarus. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're a beer lover and you've never been to a hop farm, it's a really really cool opportunity. So I I would I would definitely suggest that if you're doing your your road trip up to New Glarus, may as well stop by this place and uh, and check it out. That's something uh, we typically mm -hmm. here in the Midwest at least don't yeah. get to see. Right. Uh, there's some smaller farms popping up in the Midwest now, but um, typically you see those out in the Pacific Northwest. It's really, really cool stuff. So instead of the brewery tour, take the hop farm tour. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's seen yeah. breweries. Everybody's seen breweries, yeah. <laughs> do both. Come on, do both. And then well. you can check out some malting facilities. <laughs> Which are usually not next to a hop farm. No. <laughs> well, should we finish these up and yeah. move on yeah, to the definitely. IPA? Here? IPA. Cheers. All right, so we finished off the pail. I'm kind of hoping for a little more hop from the hop garden. Yep. I want more hops. Yeah, so uh, this one, their Bushel Basket IPA, aptly named because there is a bushel of hops in every barrel. So that's a lot of hops, I think. That's we still lot. haven't figured out how much a bushel is. So maybe it's like a thimble. I don't know. <laughs> it's at least like a big barrel. It's a lot. Larger, it's like a big basket. It's I, larger I, than a bread basket. I, I, sure I picture that. a giant like wicker basket when I when yeah. I. Hear I bushels. think you're on the right track there. It's not a thimble. Not a, that's a thimble. That's not a bushel. I was joking. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's oh, crack this Steve. open. Yeah, we got pretty dark color on that. Yeah, you would like. Uh, this is almost like a Belgian double. It looks like. I got a little. I have some floaties going on in there. Like some. <laughs> looks like hops. I, I got stuff in there. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like yeast. It does look like hops. It looks like rocks or something. Mine's pretty clean. <laughs> um, pretty uh, pretty murky beer as well. Yeah. Clearly not uh, filtered. No yogurt. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not getting yogurt on this one. Um, it's got a, a nice aroma there. There's a little bit of pine, uh, some nice fresh hop character. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. It's pretty sweet. Mm. Yeah, it is. It finished a little sweet. Um, it does have a nice hop character to it, though. It does. It does smell more fresh than the uh, the pale. Yeah, it's a lot of like pine. It almost it's not like a fresh pine, like a forest. It's more of like a, I guess, more of a chemically pine. I guess it's not like a. It doesn't feel like a burst of forest. Mm -hmm. so it's a little different. <clears throat> but certainly leaning towards the uh, the piney hop as opposed to citrusy fruity type of hop character so that's almost refreshing i've been drinking a lot of like fruity uh fruity beers uh, it seems like a lot of the beers yeah. coming out now are are more leaning towards like the citrusy fruity that kind of thing um so kind of going back to what i remember ipas being when i first started drinking them they were very piney and resinous when i met the gentleman who was offer examples of this at the uh, liquor store in Wisconsin. He did say he had some hops there from the next batch that they were growing, which were a much more citrusy hop than what's in these beers. Did he uh, Did he mention at all what type of hops he's growing up there, do you recall? If he did, I am hop stupid enough to understand what he was sure. talking about, so I don't know. Okay. And so we did look at the bottle, once again, in case of oh. we should just read the bottles before yeah. we start. <laughs> do your homework, kids. <laughs> and they are, they are not brewing it. They do not con brew it themselves. They're contracting yes. them out of the House of Brews. House of Brews in Madison, yes. Not the House of Blues. Nope, not the House of Blues. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Be, uh, yeah, yeah, I just, you know. Remember, you, our, our audience was very confused. I see what they did there, though. Yeah. Yeah. Very clever. I think they have shows there, too. <laughs> I think Modest Mouse is playing. <laughs> the House of Blues. Of Bruce. <laughs> At the House of Bruce. You'd be Bruce. confused. You'd go to oh. the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> you think Madison has a House of Blues? I don't know. I've never seen one there. <laughs> I don't want to be on this show anymore. <laughs> 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 but it's nice to, I guess, it's fun to try new breweries, especially mm -hmm. we have so many popping up here in Chicago and, you know, new ones popping up all across the country, so it's neat to see what else is happening. 
Yeah, it's, and this is kind of a fun take. I, I mm-hmm. you know, a lot of hop people are hop growers are are into beer, obviously, and I've never really seen anybody brew on a commercial level. Uh, I know a lot of them screw around with home brews mm-hmm. and stuff, yeah. uh, but spending a little bit of time with hop hop growers, they're they they feel like it's almost their beer when yeah. they sell someone hops and then they make that beer with it. So they take a large amount of pride in it. So there's got to be a lot going into this as well. Not only did they grow the hops, but formulated recipes, even though they're contracting. Um, it's, there's got to be a lot of pride in, in having sure, pretty yeah. much total control. Is it, fair to, is it fair to say that, with, uh, with especially with pails and IPAs, that most of the flavor comes from the hops themselves? As in IPAs? the rest of the, rest of the, yeah. the, the malts and the, the yeast strains. And Certainly that the dominant things. ingredient in mm-hmm. those, uh, those yeah. beers. Well, when I met the husband of the husband-wife team, he did say he had the, some samples of the next uh, batch of hops that they were currently growing, which was less piney and much more citrusy. Mm-hmm. Than this, and Wisconsin, uh, they've got um, free smalting up there. So they could do a, a serious local beer up there, local local hops, local grain. But I think that's always been New Glarus's plan or, or like ultimate goal is to be able to like do it all there, right? Mm-hmm. Grow the hops, mm-hmm. malt, everything. So it's a lofty goal. I know they've got Very. some some hops out out there, but you could probably yeah. homebrew a batch with it. Sure, it's, yeah. it's not much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, does, by the way, pretty cool. Where does New Glarus get their hops from? They don't. They don't get theirs from Hop Garden. Probably I all. Probably all over wherever they can. I'm sure. I think they try. Primarily, to would them. you would assume it's Pacific Northwest because mm-hmm. that's where most of it comes okay. from. They do a, a lot of uh, kind of old world lagers as well, so they probably mm-hmm. get a lot of European hops. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I haven't really heard of them doing any like local hop beer. Maybe they do a, a small small batch thing that you can get there. I, I don't know. Um, it hasn't made its way to, to me yet. <laughs> My glass. <Wow. laughs> well, cheers. Let's yeah. finish these up and get out of here. Get out of you guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>